We're on the line with the one and only Tom Gamble from in-game sports talking some Friday night lights, high school football action. And Tom, a epic matchup tonight for the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer, a GCL South Division opener, Moeller St. Xavier. This is going to be a good one. Well, you couldn't celebrate 25 years of, of great high school football without. This is what, this is the, you know, when you look up, Crosstown Showdown, you, you probably find this game. I mean, this is Moeller St. X. It's already sold out. St. Xavier High School. It'll be a packed house. Great student sections. And and listen to some quick numbers on these two teams. They played in 23 of the previous 24 showdowns. Now, they would always play. Elder's been the only one that's played in 24. But Moeller and St. X would play outstanding competition. St. X's record is 20-3. and three. Moeller is 18-5. and five. Wow. I mean, so... That tells you something about these programs. Now, Moeller's off to a great start. Mark Elder, their coach, let's not forget, Moeller's won one league game, one, the last three years. They were 0-3 and 0-3 in 2019 and 20, went 1-2 and last year, made it to the D1 state semifinals, finished 11-4. and He's done an amazing job. They have taken apart four really, really good opponents from four different states the first four weeks. Yeah. But I would tell you the toughest assignment might be the shortest drive, and that's at St. X, and here's why. St. X has won the last four meetings, including a pair in 2019, one regular season, one postseason, and you know how this goes. Now, last year they handled them easily, but Brogan McKay and Charles Kellum, who accounted for seven TDs in the game, they've since graduated from St. X. Yeah. Still going to be a very, very difficult test for Moeller, but i tell you, two guys for Moeller. Uh, Luke Dunn, the quarterback, is outstanding. He's got 11 TDs, one interception. Nice. And, and, and this running back, Jordan Marshall, is absolutely positively outstanding. He's run for over 100 yards in six straight games, four times this year, and he's got 10 TDs. Wow. That, my friends, is pretty impressive. So kick Very off 7 so. o'clock. If you, if you don't have a ticket, don't fret. At X-Town Showdown, all the updates throughout the evening, we'll have you covered and – and I did a sit-down. I call it the Crosstown Conversation. Did one earlier this year with Lakota West, Coach Tom Bolden. Did one with Steve Speck from St. Xavier. It's on our YouTube channel. Check it out. Everything's at X-Town Showdown. I'll get you there. There's a link, as they say. And, and, and it's a good listen. Steve's been through a lot. Four-time state champ at St. X. So if you're looking to hear from one of the best coaches in the country, check it out. Really Very cool. cool. I like that. That's awesome. Uh, we've got uh, not only that game, but some other uh, a night of big games, really. What else is going on around town? Yeah, huge games. And, I, you know, I, I'd like to give love to everybody, but obviously we don't have enough time. So I'll, I'll give it to some to some really good games. And you mentioned, how about Lakota West at Princeton? Yeah. I mean, this is big. They're both undefeated. They're both ranked in the state's top ten. This is a huge, huge game. And, and this will be a good one. I mean, West has, has kind of, you know, they have not lost a league game in uh, two two years under Tom Bolden, Andre Parker is now the man there at uh, Princeton. They've scored at will, so this will be an interesting one. That's kicking off at Princeton High School tonight. In the ECC, how about Kings at Milford? Last week, Milford, a 48-47 to winner Ooh. at Anderson. Yeah, they're 3-1. and one. So this will be against a King against a Kings team that's really really good, but you never know. So Kings four zero at Milford three and one that should be interesting. And how about this game? We have Wyoming Redding. Wyoming is the perennial small school power. Redding is off to a four zero start. And in Kentucky, the annual Dixie Highway Battle. Oh yeah, Beachwood Covington Catholic. They don't have to go far. Beachwood's won twenty seven consecutive games. They've been nothing short of dominating this year. Cuffcap. Lost to Elder Week 1, but they've won three straight. So those are just some of the matchups. And, of course, I'd be remiss, Nick. I won't do it. <laughs> You're Baden Rams, right? Yeah. You're Baden Rams. Off to a great start. They actually moved from number two to number one in the Associated Press Division Three state rankings. They take on Ross. That's that kind of that rival game there. We're well represented, we being greater Cincinnati, again in the polls. Moeller's number two. Elder which lost at Lakewood St. Edward, but only by three. They only dipped to number seven. You've still got ranked. you got Princeton. you got Lakota West. you got Fairfield. So five of the top ten in D1. Wynton Woods, defending D2 state champ, is number one and two. Kings is number five, and Wyoming's number two in Division Four. So that's pretty darn good Very representation. Very impressive. Yeah, Southwest well, Ohio, yeah. a little bit of a powerhouse here. I like it. Well, you mentioned Southwest Ohio. I'd be remiss. Centerville's up to number three, and Springfield's in there. So they were the All right. Three. 
one state runner-up last year. So you've still got dominance now. Yet a lot can change because you're getting into league play, and you're only. It's hard to believe in Ohio. It's the halfway point right? of the uh, regular oh, season. Already. Right? Now. That's yeah. crazy. It is crazy, and the weather getting a little warmer tonight, which I don't like. But it still looks like it's going to be hey, okay. No rain. If you go, well, that's the thing. I mean, we've had the last couple of years. Some of these Friday nights have just been consistently brutal with rain, so we will take it tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. I like it. Well, it is time for the portion of the show oh, where goody. Bridget gets to uh, use her brain power to get us to one of these high school football games. It's the high school Uber. Where are we trying to go to today, Tom? Well, because I'm a nice guy, I'm actually switching this up. I'm lobbing up. I'm, you know, this is a pooch punt. We'll see if Bridget can handle it, right? As they say in the business. Have you so, trademarked so that word? Is that yours? No, pooch punt's a real well, thing. Okay. No, that's a real phrase. That's a phrase I wish I had because I wouldn't be doing these insane calls. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. So, but, I, but I'm giving you a real chance because I think you're going to know this. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going to I'm going to Saturday at noon. Oh. And I'm going out of high school. No, 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 no. Hang tight. UC plays Miami. Right? <laughs> At Paycor Stadium. Oh, you you know. Okay. I do know. <laughs> I don't live under a rock. It, well, I am really? a girl. I'm a girl about town, Tom Gamble. Let me say this. You may not live under a rock, but I think you've been known to frequently crawl out from under a rock. <laughs> I will say That's this. If you are great. headed to uh, Paycor Stadium, let me uh, tell you to tell your Uber driver or Lyft driver that there are some road closures because it is Oktoberfest oh. Zinzinati weekend. Oh. Yeah, you know that, and that's and that's the way Cincinnati does things. That's convenient. That it is. Sense. It is. Yeah. Uh, so, I would recommend. The river I would recommend staying on our side of the river, Tom, and uh, you well, can park down in Covington. Maybe take that uh, south. That south. Uh, look at this. You don't know. I Just do. Take a bridge. Look, no, the, the, the South Bank shuttle is back in operational. It will cost you a dollar. Or you can hoof it across the Clay Wade Bailey that'll drop you right there by Paul or Paycor Stadium. Or you can go across the Roebling. Just saying. <laughs> Look at you. Or now. flag down an old like piece of wood that's, you know, going down the Ohio <laughs> River and reenact Titanic, if you will. Or do that. That sounds I would, fun. <laughs> I, would, I would tell you this. How about I'll I'll make this real simple for future years. Get the UC Miami game out of that stadium. Just get it out of there. Get it on the campuses of the two schools. Isn't That's that the way it that it should be? So that you have yeah. that crosstown, you know, rivalry. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's you know, no. And Yeager Stadium in Oxford is a beautiful place to hang around on a Saturday. You know, Nipper obviously is going to be sold out all year. I can't stand these kind of neutrals I, because I would tell you, I'll be intrigued to see. Here's what I'll tell you. Let's see how many people go. Sure. Because I know point. I, I just think people for college football, they want to go to college venues. That's just my own opinion. Myself at the top of the list. But we shall see. So anyway, but Bridget, you're there you go. Look at Thank you. you. <laughs> even gave, I almost have to give you a 1.5 for that one because of your, you know. Your ways to get across the river. That's impressive. This is, I but think, I'm a, not. This is a, yeah, <laughs> nah, not going to do it. Let's say this is the first that uh, I've heard praises been given on the high school Uber. You know what? It's I'm, I'm used morning. to it. It's okay. It's okay. Well, here's, the, here's the deal, Nick. This this program, at least this segment of the program, things are earned. Things aren't given like the rest of society today. Yeah, yeah. what he said. I like it. I like it. Uh, real quick, uh, Bengals yeah. in Dallas taking on a Cowboys team without Dak Prescott. You got to think the Bengals bounce back in this one. Uh, what do you think happens on Sunday? You know, I got to be honest. If they don't win this game, it's going to be a lengthy year. Hang uh, it up is what I recall, say. If you recall, I did. I did sound a little warning after watching the Rams. It's just not as easy. I mean, and the Bengals. I think they're still trying to score a touchdown from inside the twenty. I do believe. Yeah. From last week, where they had you know just an infinite <laughs> number of opportunities. I mean, let's be honest. They just didn't play well. I mean, I mean Pittsburgh, whose offense is horrific, and when T.J. Watt was in there, the Steelers' defense was disrupted. I mean, you'll see what the Bengals are made of. I mean, look, the NFL is the NFL for a reason. It's not easy. And uh, I still think this has the makings of a good team. Still got some issues on the offensive line. Right. And, and you know what? That, that's most teams. So we'll see. I mean, look at the next two weeks. If you can't 
get the two and one with playing. And you got Dallas on the road. Dallas is horrific with or without that Prescott. You've got the Jets, who honest to God couldn't beat UC coming <laughs> here the following Sunday. And then you've got that Thursday night game against Miami. So you got a real good chance with, with two home games and a horrible Dallas team to be three and one. And if if they're three and one, everybody will forget that they lost to Pittsburgh. That's true. That is true. We'll see what happens but, on Sunday. But tonight. St. Xavier High School, the place, will be there at X-Town Showdown. Constant updates on Twitter. Moeller St. X, the 25-year anniversary of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. If you want to if you want to watch, don't watch. Just listen. Put it on the background and hear Steve Speck, the St. Xavier Bombers coach, in our Crosstown conversation. But we've got you covered. A great night of high school football. And always enjoy. This is the highlight of my week. You need to get <laughs> out and do more, sir. I need to get a damn life. <laughs> yes. Correct, no. no, it is it's our pleasure, and we look forward yeah. to it every week. Well, I appreciate it. You guys have a great uh, rest of your morning, day, and weekend. You as well. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.